hello guys welcome to my channel right back again this is victor brand with another tutorial for you today and in this tutorial we are going to be learning a lot and we are going to be mastering in full so let's take a look at what we have today and see what we can do but before then oh uh, i would like us to know the definition of mastering first before we go into mastering so mastering is the process of preparing and transferring record audios from a source containing to a final mix so i don't know what you understand by that but first of all let's take a look at um um, why is mastering necessary is mastering really really necessary so let's take a look at it mastering is one of the most important set in the production process it's one of the most important set in the production process so mastering is very important so after mixing mixing your music your song you have to master because the master gives you the feelings of what it's supposed to be needed in the song the flavor that is supposed to be needed the final flavor that is supposed to be needed in the song so let's take a look at what we have here right now so and see what we are about to master so now when before you master what you have to do is that you have to after mixing you have to export your song into a waveform you don't export your song to a media or to mp3 form so you export it into a waveform that is one of the precautions you need to take before you master so now let's take a look at what we have here then we can go into the mastering immediately you got me with you i will take you with me to the end yeah. you got me singing i will take you with me for the night uh, everything we share is just amazing memory just got me going yeah and i will never let it flush out yeah and i will always stand beside you yeah you got me falling down for you you got me thinking hard for you all my body change on me all my body skis things i never know you should just to let me know i never know so after missing now so i have to export it into a waveform so that is why we have it here this way that you see so let's take a look at the plugin that we are going to be using for our mastering so let's take a look at it too so we are going to be using ozone 8 and then we are going to be using a fat filter eq to have our mastering so before that we talk about that let's talk about our julian loudness so so i have a julian loudness here and it's on a free free form because it's free so what julian loudness does is that i use julian loudness to measure the loudness of my song so that my song will not be be less in actions maybe when other songs are being modern songs are being played outside in the speakers so i use Yulin loudness to measure the loudness of my song so that it could be able to compete with other modern songs outside on the streaming site and other things so we are going to be talking about Yulin loudness later so first of all let's do what is more important which is the mastering so let's dive into it so we are using Uzun 8 to master so let's turn up our Uzun 8 coming up so here we have, have our ozone 8 basically i wasn't um i have some work done done here already in the mastering already so i have to bypass it to show you the before and after of it so basically i wasn't making this making this um mixing or the mastering for 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 youtube form or for a tutorial before but i was just i just did the work for someone but i just discovered that maybe i should just share this with you guys so that you guys will just see well how you can master and and let's just start something from there so i'll just be explaining it in full and just going into it in details so you guys will understand so after that i have to like and load up my equalizer you can see so i load up my equalizer here as you can see so after loading up my equalizer so what i did with equalizer here is in this um low end per aspect 
I boosted it a little bit up. Why am I boosting this? I am boosting it because I discovered that my song doesn't have that strength, that kind of basic strength, a little basic strength to compete. Because when I'm mastering, I try to like uh, have some kind of uh, mm, reference of a song that I could just listen to and it'll be like my ears or what my, my ears is hearing and they'll just be like, okay, I really want my song to stand out. Yes, I really want my song to stand out like so so stone song in the speakers. So that's where I'm making a comparison. So there's a place for a reference here in Ozone 8. Yeah, where I could just reference my song, load up a reference to it and just try to reference it. But we'll do that in our next tutorial. We mustn't learn everything at once. So we take it gradually. We are going to be talking about that in next tutorial. So I don't want to just rush everything into you so that you won't get confused. So let's be taking it gradually and be understanding it. So let's just take a look at this manual look of it and see so now i have to boost it a little bit here as you can see so after boosting this here i have to like um let's give it a play and see so i'm coming let me take it to the loudest part of my song and see oh let me see Sing, singing. so i'm taking it back a little bit and I'm taking it back a little bit again. I would you got me, I me with you. I will take you with me to the end. So you can see the equalizer I throwed on it already. The work that has already been done here has already make a lot of change here. So I'll be talking about this point one, point two, point three, and point eight on what I did here to perform this magic and then what you are hearing now so let's take a look at this so i have a a boost here at the low end here so i have a, a boost here at the mid range here so what i actually what i basically does here is that you know when it comes to a mixing as a, as a producer you know that your vocal the strength of your vocals is always present at the mid range of of your eq so as you can see at the mid range of my of my equalizer here my vocal strength is present there so now you can see so i don't want my vocals to hide inside of my beat that is the reason why i decided to boost this a little bit uh, i think it's much but i like it that way so i boosted it to just add that flavor to it to let my vocals to shine on my on my beat so that is what i did here and that is the reason why you see that i boosted in the mid range of it here so now let's take about let's take a look at this here now so that there's a little work i did here and there's a reason why i did something here so there's a kind of harsh sound here which i don't really like normally i don't like it but i don't know if it is my mic that i normally cause those issues but normally when i record every time i, I normally go directly directly to that place because i not i always notice that a lot of harsh sound there that is always annoying that me myself i hate so i decided to like i come to this place i dock it down so i don't want too much of high end on my song also on my mix and my mastering because i hate high end a lot so i decided to like dock down the high end a little bit out of it so that i don't want my high end to just compete with my songs and then make my song sound so harsh to the ear maybe when someone is using an headset earpiece to listen to it uh, it will feel very sad and then like, ah, this song is a noise but when you listen to a song that is very cool no 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 kind of noise that comes in no harshness you enjoy it even when you are sleeping you still want to hear that song so that is it so that is what i use my equalizer for so let's talk about let's play it and listen to it with the equalizer and see with you i will take you with me to the end so let me bypass so let me bypass and see so you could listen to it with you i will take you with me to the end yeah. let me turn it on with you i will take you with me to the end yeah. you got me sing 
so that is a little difference that you can see there and that is mastering for you so let's take a look at i have i add another, another stuff to it which is called the dynamic eq i don't know if i mean of you know what dynamic eq is dynamic eq is just like a, a multi-band compressor or yeah, yeah maybe just let me just say multi-band it's a multi-band but it's still dynamic eq but i'm not that good in explaining plugins but all i know is that i know what they do so let, let's take a look at the uh, dynamic EQ now. So what I did with this dynamic EQ is just cutting some kind of um, frequency that I don't really too much like. But I don't want to cut it all. But I just want to like um, what my want my 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 dynamic EQ to do is that I just want you to like maybe when there is a sound, let's play it and see, and you look at what is happening. With you, I will take you with me to the end. So for instance now, maybe here like this, there's a sound here I don't really like, but I don't really want to get it off, I don't really want to get everything off, but I really do have some kind of, the song, the sound is performing some kind of form in the mix, but I don't want to get it off, so I just want it to like, dog down a little bit when it comes, I want it to bring dog down a little bit not too harsh on it but to just come down a little bit for other song to other instrument or other for the presence of the vocal to just shine and just go so just take a listen to it and see how it, go it goes with you, you can see i will take you with me to the end you can see the way it's going it's talking down and you got me singing that is the work of the dynamic eq and i did the same thing here with you, you can see I will take you with me to the end. As you can see, so I did the same thing here. Also. With you, I will take you. So I told you about on uh, the high end issues also. So the same thing I did with the high end here also. With you, I will take you. Because I don't too much like high end that much. That is the reason why any any possible means I see in removing high end, I just try to make use of it to to get some high end out of it so that is it and that is dynamic eq for you but we are going to be having much class in details whereby i'm going to be picking it one by one and be docking it down for you to be seeing it so let's just have a clue of what it is and what it does so now our next plugin that we are going to be going into right now we are going to be talking about our maximizer and then we have our maximizer here so maximizer performs a lot of great action here so what maximizer does is that it helps in um, like uh, they try to balance also try to balance just normal as i say the other time try to balance our loudness of our songs and then and that the threshold of it and the tip and the true peak of it so that is what it does so when i turn on this maximizer now you notice that there's a loudness already increased in our vocals in our mix in our master already sorry so let's let me play it and see with you i will take you so let me bypass with you you see i will take let you me it on. with me to the end and you got me singing i will take you so now what uh, actually does it is that i try to like um bring down my my this thing here into minus 1.0 db as you can see so i think um, in the modern type of song this this now i think in um, the true this thing that is accepted in the in the streaming site i think uh, when i try to bring it down to this minus 1.0 db here then try to adjust my threshold to match up with the loudness so let me just uh, try to load up my uh, Julian loudness to compare my loudness and see with you I will take you with me to the end and you got me singing I will take you with me for the night uh, everything we share is Okay, so I can see. Um, I think I'm meeting up with the 
with the with the loudness so but don't worry anytime when we are going to have another tutorial concerning this we are going to be talking about it so i'm just making this as an, an introduction to you so i'm discovering something in, in our mass stream here so i want to like and treat it so i'm taking this little bit up i think i cut it too much of it let's cut it off cut it off uh -huh. Uh -huh. With you, I will take you with me to the end. Now I got what I want. Now so so that was what I did. You can always bring down your distance to minus one point twenty d point zero dB, and you could just adjust it to to your kind of ways of how you want your loudness of your song to be. So you can see minus eight. And uh -huh. let me leave it here. So you can also adjust yours to three three if you want but i prefer the minus 1.0 db for this song so that's it with um that's only what i do to touch when it comes to to my maximizer with you i will take you with me to the end and you got me singing i will take you with me so now there's a plugin i add when i mix i mean when i master again i normally add an exciter but i don't normally add exciter all those times again because when i normally add an exciter sometimes maybe when a, a mixing engineer send me a mix and then then it's not uh, to me i don't feel like the song is properly mixed so then i'll start going into it in detail like try to like i mean on like here we have a cita here so this is an exciter so a exciter i'll just take a exciter as a, a secondary plugin a secondary plugin that you could just add to to your voca i mean to your mastering to uh to maybe treat go into your vocals to treat it i don't know if you understand what i'm trying to say maybe when your mix is not being mixed very well and then it's already on the process for mastering so as a mastering engineer what the best thing that you can do is just add an exciter to just go into it and just try to excite it a little bit that is what the exciter does so i'm going to be talking about exciter maybe in the next mastering class tutorial that is when i'm going to be talking about exciting exciter in in full but let's just have a clue of it and see how it goes so let me just like um maybe let me just solo this and see. So now I solo the the how they used to call it the high end of it. The high end of um of our mix. So I have to solo it. So when I solo it now, I if maybe I just feel like oh my high end is not that much. I don't like my high end and then I really want to add some kind of little high end to it. So I will just go and just boost it a little bit. What I'm trying to do is that I'm only touching the high end. I am not touching other body of the song, so I'm only touching the high end. So you can see they are boosting it. So when you're done with that, you you, you just have to like wait me for a night. Then you go to to another side of it and then have a click on it, silent it and listen to the this. And then have to have a treat on it. You go to the uh, to the low uh, uh, low end of it. Take a listen to it. If when you're not okay with the low end of it, you can just adjust it or reduce it of you want or boost it or how you want it. You can see. So that is what a cyta is all about. I don't. I'm I'm turning it off because I don't think we need a cyta in this. But if you want a tutorial on how we can use an exciter to work on exciter, I'm going to having a tutorial for it. You drop your comment on the box so that we can have a special tutorial for an exciter whereby you can use an exciter to, to keep your work going. So let's for now we are through with our Ozone 8 and then that was the perfect one there on our mix. So let's talk about on 
the other plugin I add, which is the Fat Filter Pro EQ, I added. So I add this if Fat Filter Pro EQ to take away some some kind of sounds I don't really want. So let's take a listen to it. With you, I will take you with me to the end. And you got me. So what I actually did here was that I have to like an. So I added this uh, fat filter EQ to it to take away some kind of sounds I don't really want. So what I did here actually is this. I um, tried to like, um, I think I talked about this in my last tutorial in my first mastering video. So maybe if you want to get the details about it, you could go down there and just try to to get how the clue of it and how it is. So what I basically does here is this. I and uh, try to like uh, drag this so I I don't think I could just teach this without me removing it so let me just replace it let me remove this EQ and then load up another EQ of it again in fresh form so we could take it again so what I basically does here is that I have to like and uh, click it here then have some kind of um, just right click you can see and then I'll change this to to side as you can see then I will just curve this a little bit to some kind of from um, 30 let me make it 30 so when I do this this way now I'll just have a fun of it and just take it like this I play it I will take you with back. me to the end and you got me so let me take singing I will take you with me you see what the side is doing so let's let me take it back with you i will take you with me to the end so i just cut i'm cutting a little bit of it out of it because this is mastering so i'm going to pick another point here again and take it down here another point so i'm going to like right click again on stereo placement i'm going to make it mid-range so after making it a mid, I'm going to like um, click on this place, change this to a low end, then change this to yeah 30, and then I'm going to play it and this time me take it to, to you got me singing. I will take you with me for the night. So, I believe you can see the work of this one now. What Take it back, then play. You got me singing. I will take you with me for the night. Everything we share is just amazing. The memory just got... I'm, I'm going to be leaving this one at this edge, edge here so i'm going to leave it that way so let's talk about our second eq that we add so so what i did with the second eq basically here is that i use this second eq to remove some kind of unwanted sound that is not needed in our mix so here is what i did here so let's take a look at it this is what i dug down i don't like that sound so i take it off of the mastering uh, this one also so I don't also like this sound you with me. so I took it off so I have another point here also let's take a listen to it so I don't like that sound also so, I take it you. Off. so let's take a listen here also so I don't actually like that sound also so I took it off you got me and this also i don't like the sound also so i take it off so in full let's take a look listening to sorry <coughs> so in full let's take a look at what we have done so far and see you got me singing i will take you with me for the night Everything we share is just amazing. Then the 
memory just got me going Yeah, and I will never let it flush out And so that is all about the introduction to our mastering so when we are when we are going to have our mastering class next time we are going to be taking it from a fresh taking it for start and taking it just like the way you, you are going to understand it so i want you to drop your your subjection in the comment box below and then tell me how you feel about this introduction to mastering and what you think about it so that next time when we come across mastering next time we could try to put it in a way that you can understand and in your own ways of understanding because everybody has their ways of learning so i want you to subscribe to my channel and if you are new to my channel please subscribe like and comment